My name is Johanna Barrett, and it is my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the school to welcome you here tonight to the 61st annual Fridley High School Scholastic Achievement Banquet. Tonight, sorry. Tonight, we celebrate the hard work and achievement of the class of 2019. According to Mich Michelle Obama, the only limit to the height of your achievement is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Every student in this auditorium has shown discipline, responsibility, and determination inside and outside of the classroom. I would like to thank all the members of the audience for joining us in this celebration. I hope you enjoy the program. At this moment, please welcome to the stage, Principal Hand. Good evening. Again, my name is Patty Hand, and I am the very proud principal here at Fridley High School. Again, welcome students, parents, guardians, faculty, lions, and friends of Fridley High School to our Fridley Academic Awards program. Tonight, we will honor many students who have demonstrated excellence as scholars, athletes, and leaders. Excellence is the result of strong motivation, hard work, and dedication to the opportunities we are provided. When our students and educators excel, it is vital that they are recognized and serve as role models, encouraging others to aspire to excellence. Excellence can mean different things to different people, but the bottom line is that you use your talents, your abilities, your skills, and most importantly, your positive attitude in the best way possible every day. These students have shown this excellence, and that is why we are here to celebrate them tonight. To begin tonight's program, we will honor members of the class of 2019 who have maintained a cumulative GPA of 3.25 average or better throughout their high school career. This achievement is recognized by a special honor certificate provided by the Lions Club, which we are about to present. In order to illustrate our students' accomplishments this past school year, here are a few examples. This year, we will be graduating 15 full IB diploma candidates. They will receive both a Fridley High School Diploma and an IB Diploma. We also have 37 IB Scholars. These students have taken at least four IB courses per year and completed external exams. We also have four CP candidates. They are graduating having taken part in the rigorous academics of the DP, but have also focused on learning, spe learning specific to their career fields, including the opportunity to earn an industry certification or credential. In addition, they have explored skills for success in the workplace, studied an additional language, and served their community. Fridley's Key Club and Youth in Government continue to make their mark through awards and accolades. In fact, Key Club earned the Distinguished Diamond Level Honors, making it one of the top 1% Key Clubs in the world. That is notable. Our sports, theater, music, art, and clubs have many accomplishments in individual and team tournament participation. Students, we are proud of you and your accomplishment. Your hard work and dedication and determination have served you well and will continue to serve you well into your future. To kick off tonight's program, I want to take a moment to celebrate two award winners who are not able to join us this evening, but have earned prestigious awards as juniors. First, we'll be presenting the Harvard Prize Book Award, and I think we all have a picture as well. <laughs> this award goes to an outstanding member of the junior class who demonstrates excellence in scholarship and high achievement in other non-academic areas such as community service. This award is given on behalf of the Harvard Club of Minnesota. This year's recipient will receive the book entitled Justice, What's the Right Thing to Do? Fridley High School is proud to announce Yang Chen Namagal as this year's recipient. Every year, Yale clubs recognize juniors for outstanding character and intellectual promise by presenting the Yale Book Award to, to participating high schools. Fridley High School is proud to announce Asantia Med as this year's recipient receiving the book, A Little History of the United States. Yeah. 
As you can see from the pictures, it was very fun to give them each of their awards earlier today. At this time, we will be presenting scholarships from our generous donors to members of the graduating class of 2019. These seniors have made positive contributions to Fridley High School and their community. These awards will assist them in, as they pursue their post-secondary educational programs. Fridley Community Scholarships started in 1968 through the Fridley High School. As part of our dedication to building a community of world-class learners, the Fridley Schools Foundation continues to support the work with local businesses, service groups, and individuals to provide support to support Fridley High School seniors. With the rising cost of secondary education, scholarships are needed by many of our students to reach their fullest potential. And our, continue con our community continues to support this rich tradition of giving help to others. With great thanks to our fabulous donors, the Fridley Schools Foundation is able to award $120,000 in scholarships to this year's seniors. That deserves an applause. I would like to introduce Nicole Kaiser, Jim Cummings, and Carrie Rona at this time to present our scholarships to our deserving students of the class of 2019. All right, well, this is this is the fun part, uh, where we get to hand out all this money to you guys. Um, for those of you that haven't been in this auditorium before, this is our new auditorium. Isn't it great? I love it. <clears throat> it's been here for a year or so, but I just, I just still think it's really great. Anyway, um, let's kick this off. We are going to start out with our scholarships for the Fridley Schools Foundation. And to help me kick this off, I am going to have our former beloved principal, Ms. Renee Van Gorp, to come up and say a few words. I would also like to invite Ahmad Samadi to come up and join us, please. Thanks, Jim. Uh, hello, as Jim said, I'm Renee Van Gorp. Um, I currently serve as the president of the Fridley Schools Foundation since my retirement as the high school principal here in 2016. The foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit made up of volunteers that supports the mission of Fridley Public Schools. I would like members of the school foundation board to stand up and be recognized at this time. If there are any in the audience, please stand. Thank you very much. Thanks to a generous community, the Frilly Schools Foundation has been fulfilling its mission to opening doors to enhance educational opportunities for students within the Fridley Schools since 1999. The foundation has been giving scholarships to high school seniors since its existence, and we look forward to a long future in supporting this cause. The district has a rich heritage of excellence in education, and the foundation is committed to seeing that tradition grow. We support educator grants across the district, we are the hub for alumni information and provide scholarships for graduating seniors. Tonight, along with parents, faculty, friends, and scholarship donors present, we are pleased to celebrate the accomplishments of students through scholarships. Please visit the Fridley Schools Foundation website where you can see all scholarship winners. They'll be posted, and you can find out how you can help the foundation grow. On behalf of the entire foundation, I'd like to thank all the donors for their continued support in advancing educational opportunities through scholarship giving for our students. As Maya Angelou said, when you learn, teach. When you get, give. So I say, let's commence the giving.
Okay, so here are the winners, uh, the award winners of uh, the Fridley Schools Foundation Scholarships. Um, starting out, we have Cooper Severson. <laughs> Melissa Lama. <laughs> Olivia Leduc Fimano. Rueda Mohammed <laughs> Samaya Jabril <laughs> and Lucas Johnson. <laughs> and also, I apologize if I get any names wrong, it's not intentional. <laughs> Congratulations, all of our Fridley Schools Foundation winners. Uh, the next uh, scholarship is the RVG Go Tigers Award. RVG standing for Renee Van Gorp. And the, <laughs> the winner of the RVG Go Tigers Scholarship is Jacob Johnson. Next, we have several winners of the Friends of Fridley Foundation scholarship. And to help present, I would invite, like to invite Greg Gardner and Ron Ackerman to the stage, please. <laughs> the Friends of Fridley Foundation award winners are Alyssa Marcourt. Annabelle Wirtz. Audrey Zeleny. Harrison Blum. Johanna Barrett. Olivia Yang. Lee Knudsen. And Summer Sidlecki. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Uh, next is the Fridley Lions Club Scholarships. And to help present, we would like Fridley Lion Jim Young to come up on stage, please. Okay, so um, our first winner of the Fridley Lions Club Scholarship is Ava Helmer. <laughs> Joseph Bleegan. <laughs> Kevin Hewn. Kylin Napier. Luke Lamont. Maida Ahmed. Sabrina Lore. Samantha Dean. Yeah. 
Tenzin Nangpo. Uh, Tenzin, by the way, is the winner of the Fridley Lions Club John Gargaro Memorial. Hmm? Oh. Sierra Lewis. And the Fridley Lions Club Ken Krantz Memorial uh, is award winner is Stephen Nankumar. Congratulations once again, Fridley Lions Club winners. <laughs> to help present for the Fridley American Legion Post 303 Auxiliary Award is Bonnie Eels here. Bonnie? No Bonnie? Okay. <laughs> um, so the Fridley American Legion Post 303 Auxiliary, we have two award winners. The first is Grace Lehman. And Nick Phillips, Jr. Congrats, guys. Good job. <laughs> okay, and now we have uh, the scholarship for the class of 1967. And to help present, I'd like to invite up a couple of good old guys I just met to come on up. They got some great stories. I wish they could share, but. <laughs> Uh, we have Rick Pratt and Larry Klebeck here from the class of 1967. The Fridley High School class of 1967 is happy to present the scholarship to Nadira Hussein. Congratulations on your achievement. Congratulations on your achievement and success. And may it continue. <laughs> and, and may it continue as you succeed in the future. <laughs> We need more microphones. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, to present, to help present the John Crane Memorial Community Service Scholarship, I would like to invite Jerry Crane and Jody Crane Murphy to the stage. My sister and I are uh, 1989 and 1991 graduates of Fridley High School, and we are um, honored to present these scholarships on behalf of my dad, who passed away and is a proud supporter of Fridley High School and post-secondary education, so congratulations. And the winner of the John Crane Memorial Community Service Scholarship is Samira Dabarani. Okay, thank you, and, I mean, congratulations. And we have um, another John Cran Crane Family STEM Scholarship. And um, is, are Teresa and Wade here? Oh, 
huh? Oh, they're staying. Okay. All right. So um, the winner of the John Crane Family STEM scholarship is Samaya Hussein. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I like the name of this scholarship. This is called the Northeast Kiwanis Crazy Mary Scholarship. And to help present for this scholarship and another one right after it, Crazy Mary Bowen. <laughs> The Northeast Kiwanis gave me the scholarship and they called it the Crazy Mary Bowen Creativity and Leadership Scholarship. Well, I told them, you know what? You usually give things like this when you're dead and I'm not dead yet. <laughs> so I feel very honored to be able to give a scholarship while I'm still alive, guys. This award goes to a vibrant young lady who has exhibited risk-taking and visionary leadership her skills were exhibited throughout the past five years. She served as charter president of the Middle School Builders Club. From there, she went on to become lieutenant governor of the Minnesota Dakota's Key Club District. Then she turned to trustee at Key Club International. She is now serving as president of Key Club International. She is currently in charge of 267,000 students throughout the world. She is the youngest person to have held such a position. Please give a hand to Emily Rice. This next award goes to a young lady who I've had the privilege to work with for the past four years. She is a quiet leader. Unlike me, with my booming voice and my gesturing hands, she gets things done with little fanfare or drama. Under her leadership, the Fridley Key Club receives the Distinguished Diamond Level Award. This placed it in the top 1% throughout the world. I wish you good luck, O.J. Vang, as Gojay, Gojay is pursuing a pre-nursing degree at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. That was wonderful. Uh, let's see, we have the Flathman Family Scholarship, and is Reed Flathman here to help present? Okay. Um, so the Fa Flathman Family Scholarship this year goes to Andrea T. Koo. Should I say that? Congrats, Andrea. To help present the Vitel Scholarship, I would like to invite Mark Salisbury to the stage. And the winner of the Vitel Scholarship is Celeste Goody. Congratulations. The Asia Abdul Walid Scholarship is awarded to Carrie Beers.
The Bob's Produce Scholarship is awarded to Paul Ramirez. We have two Fridley Education Association scholarships. The FEA scholarships are awarded to Alyssa Greveldinger and Emma Wilcox. And the Fridley Hockey Salmon Scholarship is awarded to Nathan Ramirez. We have five winners of the Cop Family Foundation Scholarship, and they are Abdi Rahman Hussein. Jordan Chalmers. Kiana Martin. Mario Johnson. And Reagan Kane. Congratulations. We have two winners for the Joseph and Irene Mertens four year uh, scholarship, and they are Haley Shalweg and Catherine Krook. And we have several winners for the Joseph and Irene Mertens two-year vocational program scholarships, and they are Abdullahi Sheikhton, <laughs> Beatrice Barkin, Carson Lindsay, Derek Zimmer, Edric Swen, Kiera Bradley, Mia Pappas, Michelle Gonzalez Medina. Nazrin Haji, and Yaye Mohamud. The Edward and Doris Masav Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Noor Khan. The McMinn Brothers Scholarship is awarded to Zachary Fisher. <laughs> Two winners for the Ray and Maxine Mondlo Family Scholarship, they are Jesus Analco Morales <laughs> and Matthew Meserich. The Myra Family Scholarship is awarded to Mia Mosissa. The Osterlin Math and Science Scholarship is awarded to Vivi Koo. The American Red Cross Scholarship is awarded to Tyler Halgrimson. Yeah. 
And the Fridley School Board Scholarship is awarded to Salma Youngmark. The STRIVE program is sponsored through the Fridley Columbia Heights Rotary Club. STRIVE challenges these students to improve their work, gain self-confidence, and discover the satisfaction of achievement. It is a scholarship program that recognizes and rewards students who show the greatest improvement in grades in their senior year. These students have overcome obstacles and have made a commitment to themselves that college admission will be attainable this fall. I congratulate them for achieving their goals. Assisting with the certificate presentations uh, will be Pastor John Newald and Assistant Principal Kelly McConville. Okay, so we got frames here for these guys. And I'm gonna start calling names as I'm getting these. The first winner is Najee Coward. Okay. Okay. Oops. Uh, Maurice Wilson. Amran Ahmed. Elizabeth Radouche. Isis Burgess. Ty Leah Frazier. <laughs> Yakub Ahmed Ahmad. Dre Matt. Safia Hussein. <laughs> Brittany Smith. <laughs> Yashmini Sariram. Is Brittany okay? I know she's on crutches. <laughs> yeah, I just, I know she's on crutches, so, <laughs> yeah. I just want to make sure she's okay. <laughs> uh, Joseph Junkert. <laughs> Makai Jones. Nazra Ahmed. Andrew Richmond. Hunter Wright. Ayub Yusuf. She's not. Elizabeth Herrera Perales and Kelly Salazar Lopez. Congrats to all the Strive students. Okay, so um, we are going to talk about the Sterling Arts Awards and to help present. Um, First, just let me say we are lucky to have the extra support from the Fridley Alumni Choir and to introduce uh, the Sterling Arts Awards. Uh, please come to the stage, Randy Enger and Deborah Johnson.
Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Randy Ettinger, and I'm from the class of 1975, right here. Yes, thank you very much. And I'm the director of the Fridley High School Alumni Choir, and joining me tonight is Deborah Johnson from the class of 79, and we have Joel Miklich Young from the class of 75, and your school board member, Chris Riddle, is also a member of our alumni choir, so we have good representation here tonight. And so the Fridley Sterling Scholarship Fund was established in 1996 as a result of a special performance celebrating the 25th anniversary, or the Sterling Silver anniversary, of this district's auditorium. Since that time, we have awarded over $77,000 to graduating seniors pursuing the performing arts, visual arts, or the literary arts in college. The main source of our scholarship money comes from donations received at the two fall concerts of the Fridley Alumni Choir. Our scholarships are given in the memory of Fridley teacher and theater director, the late Dwayne Georges, who directed the very first play ever presented in this auditorium, and also in honor of the late Kay Bonner Nee, a longtime Fridley resident, who was a catalyst in getting this auditorium built in 1970. This year, we are awarding two $2,000 scholarships, and our scholarship winners can renew that scholarship for another $1,000 in two years, as Maggie Bergman and Maya Salo did from the class of uh, 2017, they did this year. Now, it gives us great pleasure on behalf of the Alumni Choir and the Fridley Sterling Scholarship to award our first 2000 scholarship to Rania Ali. And it gives us great pleasure to present our second $2,000 scholarship to Hunter Gunderson. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now on to the next portion of our evening. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce Jim Young, president of the Fridley Lions Club, and Nicole Kaiser, dean of students for the class of 2019, who will assist in presenting the honor awards. It is now time to recognize all of our graduates with honors. The following students have earned a 3.25 to 3.499 GPA, and they will receive one gold rope cord, and there are 24. And they are Sada Abduro, Abdi Malik Ahmed, Andrew Ackerman. Pooch Cham. Alexander Craycraft. Samira Dabarani. Abdi Rahman Hussein. Samaya Hussein. Jacob Johnson. Lucas Johnson. Melissa Lama. Olivia Leduc Femano. Mea Mosissa. Stephen. Nan Kumar. Noah Noor. Mia Pappas. Paul Ramirez. Maisie Salo. Cooper Severson. <laughs> Abdullahi Sheikhton. <laughs> Edric Swen. <laughs> K. 
Caleb Taki Chikai. Andrea Tiku. G Tran. And Michael Yokum. Congratulations, all of our honors winners. Now it is time to recognize all of our graduates with high honors. The following students have earned a 3.50 and above GPA. Have earned a 3.5 and above GPA and will receive a two rope gold cord and they are Maida Ahmed. Omar Ahmed. Rania Ali. Johanna Barrett. Catherine Bazuski. Jasmine Krohn. Vivi Ku, <laughs> Kiana Davis, <laughs> Courtney Frid, <laughs> Kaylee Gable, <laughs> Graham Hoagland. Quinn Howard, Kevin Hune, Samia Jabril, Samia, Mario Johnson, Olivia Cowell. Paku Lee. <laughs> Sabrina Lohr. <laughs> Stephanie Martinez Perez. <laughs> Grace Modal. <laughs> Rueda Mohammed. Yaye Mohamud, <laughs> Kailin Napier, <laughs> Jack Wynn, <laughs> Walter Nordin, <laughs> Malina Om. Ivan Puga, Ivan Pugachov. <laughs> Anissa Ramadit. <laughs> Emily Rice. <laughs> Chloe Rich. <laughs> Summer Sidlecki. Augustine Toby. And Elizabeth Vang. In two weeks, you'll be able to see all of these students wearing these gold cords. So that's kind of neat. Congratulations once again to our high honors winner, or our high honors award winners. Uh, now, now, 
It is time to recognize all of our graduates with the highest honors. Please come down and stay on stage until all students are announced. Graduates with highest honors. These students are the highest achievers in the class of 28, 2019. Excuse me. Traditionally, we have awarded them an honor stole to be worn at commencement as a symbol of their high academic achievement. These students will also receive an academic, le academic letter. This is a most select group. They have a GPA of 3.75 and above, plus have six semester credits in three diploma program classes. They deserve our spe special recognition this evening. Please hold your applause until they have all been recognized. I will read the names in alphabetical order. Please come up as called. There are 22. Please, students, please line up below the stage for pictures, then walk to the auditorium lobby for more pictures. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Joseph Blagan. Harrison Blum. Samantha Dean. <laughs> Nadia Hawkins. Yeah. You guys know where you're going? Okay, good. Where did I leave off? Oh yeah. Ava Helmer. <laughs> Nadira Hussein. Lee Knudsen. <laughs> Catherine Krug. <laughs> Lucy Kempel. <laughs> Luke Lamont. <laughs> Toku Lee. Sierra Lewis. <laughs> Alyssa Marcourt. <laughs> Hung Nguyen. <laughs> Tenzin Nangpo. <laughs> Nathan Ramirez. Haley Shalwig. Precious Taylor. Goje Vang. Annabelle Wirtz. Olivia Yang. And Audrey Zeleny. Congratulations once again, our highest honors recipients. We good? All right. So before moving on to other awards tonight, I want to thank the Fridley Lions for their partnership with us in sponsoring our banquet tonight. We are appreciative of their continued support in this event during the past 60 years. The Fridley Lions Club embodies their mission of service. It is truly an honor to work with such a group that gives so much back to the community. At this time, I'd like to introduce Kelly McConville, Fridley High School Assistant Principal, to present the Presidential Education Awards. This is the 27th year we have presented the Presidential Education Award.
Their criteria for this award are students must have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or above and have received a score at or above the 80th percentile on the ACT or SAT test. Fridley's Presidential Scholars are as follows. Joseph Bleegan. Harrison Blum. Kaylee Gable. Nadia Hawkins. Graham Hoagland. Quinn Howard. Nadira Hussein. Lee Knudsen. Catherine Crook. Tuko Lee. Walter Nordine. Ivan Pugachev. Nathan Ramirez. Emily Rice. Haley Shalwig. Summer Sidlecki. Annabelle Wirtz. Olivia Yang. And Audrey Zeleny. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Carrie Ryder and Jessica Baker, our IB coordinators. It is now time to recognize our IB scholars. The following students are being recognized for their choice to complete four or more International Baccalaureate Diploma Program courses. These courses are part of a two-year program of study and will wear an IB medallion with a white ribbon to note this accomplishment. There are 37. Amran Ahmed. Maida Ahmed. Najmo Ali. Gabe Allen. <laughs> Johanna Barrett. <laughs> Carrie Beers. <laughs> Harrison Blum. <laughs> Isis Burgess. Michael Dowdy. Brandon Flores Renteria. Hunter Gunderson. Elizabeth Herrera Perales. Patterson Hunter. Safia Hussein. Nia Ingram Boynton. Yeah. Jamia Johnson. Yeah. Lee Knutson. Yeah. Logan Kruger. Yeah. Luke Lamont. Yeah. 
Sierra Lewis. <laughs> Alyssa Marquart. <laughs> Kiana Martin. <laughs> Danielle Martinson. <laughs> Steven Nankumar. Sheila Niambane. <laughs> Mia Pappas. <laughs> Elizabeth Radouche. <laughs> Chloe Rich. <laughs> Wendy Salvin Savala. Yashmina Serira. Evan Shaw. Asa Sims. Andrea Tiku. Emma Jo Wilcox. Annabelle Works. <laughs> Salma Youngmark. <clears throat> it is now time to recognize our IB diploma candidates. The following students are being recognized for their choice to complete the full International Baccalaureate Diploma Program and are recognized as full diploma candidates. These students will wear, a, wear a, an IB medallion with a gold ribbon to note this accomplishment. There are 15. Jesus Analco Morales. Jasmine Crone. Samantha Dean. <laughs> Nadia Hawkins. <laughs> Nadira Hussein. <laughs> Lucy Kempel. <laughs> Stephanie Martinez Perez. Zainab Mohammed. Walter Nordine. Tenzin Nyingpo. Malina Om. Haley Shalwig. Abdullahi Sheikhton. Goje Vang and Audrey Zeleny. It is now time to recognize our IB career-related program recipients. These students will wear an IB medallion with a purple ribbon to note this accomplishment. Obeid Abdirman. Cameron Good.
Janiah Hall, and Andrea Taipu. And now I'd like to introduce our activities director, Dan Roth. That's good. Thank you, Coach Ryder. Okay, we're almost home. So we're gonna have the athletes uh, and our fine arts people uh, finish it off strong. Uh, I'd like to, first of all, everyone, how about a big thank you for assistant Sue Hansen and we're giving individual awards here tonight but it is always about the team so I'd like my admin team to come on up here Ms. Hand and Mr. McConville let's shake some hands okay we're gonna start out with our Marine Corps awards uh, in your I will not read off the description of each one, they're there, but our first one is the Marine Corps Sampler Fidelis Music e Excellence Award, and that goes to Samantha Broadhead. The Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award, it goes to Haley Shawig. And Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award, Cooper Severson and Audrey Zeleny. Getting their pictures taken. Well, we're going to keep moving. <laughs> yep, we'll, we'll keep working on it. All right. Here we go. So now we have our senior most valuable senior award from each team. Adapted Bowling, Dante Schultz. Our baseball team will be giving it at their end of season banquet. Boys basketball, Micah Cowenhoven. All right, swing and a miss there. Okay, here we go, 0 for 3. Uh, girls basketball, Jordan Chalmers. Oh, Jordan, thank you. I feel a little bit like the price is right. Cheerleading, Kiana Davis. Boys Cross Country, Mike Yoakum. <laughs> Drama, Joe Junkert. <laughs> Football, Cooper Severson. Boys Soccer, Jesus Analco Morales. <laughs> Girls Soccer, Chloe Rich. <laughs> Speech, she picked this up earlier this week, Elisa Strucker. <laughs> Boys Swimming, Andrew Ackerman. Girls swimming, Haley Schalwig. <laughs> Boys tennis will be awarded at their end of season celebration. Girls tennis, we have co-winners, Samantha Dean and Ava Helmer.
boys and girls track will also be given at the end of season celebration. Volleyball, Stephanie Martinez. And in wrestling, Gabe Allen. Okay. Now, we look, is Audrey back? Did she receive her Distinguished Athlete, Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award? Audrey, come on up here. All right, moving on. We are now looking at the Athena Award. And the Athena Award is considered the top female athlete in the school as voted on by the coaches. Uh, we already had a banquet for this person. It's all 50 uh, Minneapolis side Metro girls. And it was quite a nice afternoon. And our winner is Cece Lewis. <laughs> Just a little tidbit, yesterday at the track championships for the Tri-Metro CC swept the 100, 200, and 400 meter dash. Our next award is the AAA. Uh, it's sponsored by the Minnesota State High School League. It is considered its highest honor. It is actually competitive in nature each school nominates one male and one female senior. They move on to the region level where two are selected. They move on to the state level and one in each AA and A are chosen. So it's quite an honor. It is considered the most prestigious. And here at Fridley, our representatives and winners are Harrison Blum and Haley Shalwig. kind of moving up the food chain where each one seems to be a little more tough to get and what we're looking at right now are Fridley Tiger trifectas and if you look at that uh, an athlete must be in three sports one for four years and finish their junior and senior year playing all three and our winners for this we have two Micah Cowenhoven and Graham Hogland. We also have a fine arts trifecta and we put those by categories and the categories are band or choir and then they must be in the spring musical or fall drama and then we have speech in one act. We have one winner, Walter Nordine. Now we're on to the Senior Hall of Fame. This was started way back when Fridley began and the criteria at that time was to be a senior Hall of Fame athlete, you must be all-conference at least three times or a state champion, and those all-conferences have to be in more than one activity, one sport. We have two winners. Our first winner is Nick Phillips. And our second winner, is Graham Hoagland. Okay, moving on. I oh, you missed somebody. I missed what? What I got? You missed somebody. Oh, this is late breaking news, people. 
Thank you, Sue. Actually, we just found this out today. No, this is the truth. We are waiting for whether this person was going to get in or not. And he made it. And it is Gabe Allen. We were waiting for the all-conference selections in, in tennis, and we found out today. So, Gabe, we don't have the plaque yet, but there's, we made that up for you. Congratulations to all the winners, and now uh, we are going to hand out, we'll kind of rattle these off. This, these are the Tiger for Life. And the winners receive a free pass to any Tiger, Fridley Tiger, athletic or performance events the rest of their life, as long as they can keep the card. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see somebody 30 years from now bring that baby in. And that's right. So these people have lettered six times or more, and they're in, they have to be in either athletics and or fine arts. Um, we, don't, we don't use clubs because they, it's a little bit different uh, criterion uh, for clubs. So here we go. We're going to whip them off here and come on up. Get your handshake and your card. We have Gabe Allen, Harrison Blum, Samantha Broadhead, Micah Cowenhoven, Samantha Dean, Casey Fisher, Ava Helmer, Graham Hoagland, Jacob Johnson, Lee Knudsen, Lucy Kempel, C.C. Lewis, Danny Martinson, Walter Nordeen, Nick Phillips, Ivan Pugachov, Carter Retke, Leland Salter, Haley Shawig, Julian Schurmacher, Cooper Severson, Evan Shaw, Dante Williams, Hunter Wright, Annabelle Wirtz, Olivia Yang, Michael Yoakum, Sama Youngmark, Andrew Zeleny, I'm sorry, Audrey Zeleny. I knew it. I was drifting off thinking, you're almost home, you haven't done. I was thinking, what did I goof up? The last name. I was thinking, because sometimes I miss an award. Do we get them all? I was thinking I missed the speech award, but we gave it early, and that was in my mind. Well, thank you, everyone. I'm going to turn it back over to our fearless leader, uh, Patty, and uh, appreciate all your presence and thank you for all your support. That was fun. Two quick things. First, I want to give a special thank you to Chelsea Wood. Um, as most of you have learned in the last few months, um, Chelsea um, hopped in at the middle of February to be my new administrative coordinator because Sue retired. And her first couple duties are, hey, plan a huge banquet for the seniors and plan graduation. And <laughs> she's doing it flawlessly. And so I just want to thank you so much, Chelsea. You're doing a wonderful job. Secondly, I want to thank all of the families here. Thank you so much for your support. Students, give a huge round of applause to your families. And students, this has been such a fun night. I think I told you at the fall senior meeting that this would go by in a flash your senior year, and here we are. 
Two weeks from graduation, I'm so proud of your principal and I look forward to shaking your hand on graduation night. Thank you so much, go Tigers.